just a little jealous this morning. Well, then the cat's over here, too. <laughs> We've got everybody in the bed. Too uh, many monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I love that shirt. I, I really enjoy this shirt. I like Bones Coffee. We need to place an order. We haven't ordered Bones Coffee in a while. We, we were like shopping the clearance section of coffee for so long. We've been on Aldi's No Name Brand and Mickey D's from Costco. This Mickey D's coffee is actually pretty good. Actually, M McDonald's has always had good coffee. Yeah. I've always thought their coffee was good. If I would have stopped at just the coffee, <laughs> like that would have been great. Welcome to day three of The Road Back. Yeah. So if you're new to our channel, um, right now we are in the process of incorporating food back into our lifestyle. For 44 days, we ate nothing but beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. You got to see us in all our glory. I am trying to block that out. <laughs> well, we had some really good results on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Um, I didn't think we were having the results we were having as we were going through it. Right. But at the end, seeing the before and after pictures, I mean, I lost nine pounds of body fat. We both lost a whole bunch of inches. We're continuing to feel good. But it's time to start adding other foods back in. It's time to get back into the kitchen. It's time to start making recipes. Uh, it's time to start reincorporating keto chow. Um, and so what we're doing is, yes, there are still are days of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Right. Because what we're trying to do is figure out, Have a does control. something inflame us? Is there something that we should not necessarily avoid altogether, but limit. So we tried chicken wings the other day. Two days later. We feel great. I'm down another pound. And what about you? Well, I wanted to bring that up because we are, like we said, mostly beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. We ate, again, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs yesterday. Yes, as a control. As a control because we are slowly reincorporating food in so that we can see what is the actual, you know, variables that we need to avoid or limit, right. depending on the reaction that we have. So when we got on the scale to weigh in, there was a deadline. Mm -hmm. I, I had to weigh in on that day, no matter what, because we needed the results on that day. And I think- And you had a visitor. I did, I had a visitor. You were so frustrated that morning. I was so mad because I was like, will this show everybody how awesome that this challenge has been and what it's done so much for us. I loved when you said in the video that I can't show you how I feel. Right. Because I can't take a picture of that. Right. Because that alone would have people give it a try. We're not saying live on it. We're saying give it a try because we love you, yes. right? So I got on the scale today. I'm another pound down. Is it because we're doing something amazing in the last two days? No, it's because the natural inflammation and water weight and everything that comes with your period is going away, Yeah. right? So I've continued to eat. I, I mean, I think that overall, if you continue to, to eat these foods, you will have a, a downward success. But as far as a snapshot of one day, there's so many factors. It would not be a good science experiment. Yeah. To just weigh in a day. I think that most scientists would tell you it's not enough there's not enough data points. Yeah, there there's there's too many variables going on. So yeah, if we put up the video today with that day's results, I'd be one fifty five. Right. Not one fifty seven. Right? And you'd be like, Okay, well at least you lost two pounds. 
Yeah. But because the challenge is over, it doesn't count within the challenge. Right. But I feel like we put that kind of weird pressure on ourselves. Like there's a deadline to have a certain weight. Maybe it's the high school reunion or it's the Christmas party mm -hmm. or it's the opening of the pool and bathing suit season. And we're like, everything is hinged on that day and it doesn't matter all the other days around it. There's 364 other days this year. Yeah. I want to feel good for all of them. So here's the plan for today. Um, originally, we were going to do beef, butter, bacon, and eggs today and have keto chow, probably ice cream, because I want to be an adult and eat ice cream <laughs> for lunch. Um, but we started thinking, we have chicken wings left from Tuesday. And I'm starting to see the kids peck into them, like one at a time. I'm glad you didn't fight them. And I want my chicken wings. Right. So we were going to do beef butter, bacon, eggs, and then the keto chow. And we were thinking this morning, we have those chicken wings. We want to eat them. And two days later now, we're both down another pound, which we're going to talk about getting back on the scale in a minute. Um, but since neither one of us has had any kind of adverse reaction to having chicken wings... I feel pretty comfortable using that as a control as well yes. because that is how you're going to eat on your normal life, right? You're not going to one day eat beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, and then one day eat chicken, and then one day eat cheese, you know, every day for the rest of your life. There's going to be days where you're going to have keto chow and chicken and cheese and beef, and it's going to all be in the same day. The whole idea of this is slowly reintroduce things, wait a couple days, see if that is going to like have any kind of effect on us and then move forward. So I'm comfortable after two days of not having inflammation that chicken wings are another thing that we can add back in. Now, I'm not saying chicken breast. That's going to have to be another whole test. Yeah. Because, you know, again, we were eating a tremendous amount of chicken breast. A ton breast. of chicken breast. So I have a feeling that the amount we were eating was causing a problem for us, aside from the fact that it was filling us up and calorically we were not eating nearly enough fuel, which was slowing down our metabolism. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have chicken wings, possibly some beef, depending on how many chicken wings the kids have left for us. Yeah. And um, we have a bunch of ground beef that's already defrosted. And then also have a keto chow and just be able to use that as a control as well. Next up is probably cheese. How are you feeling about that? I'm excited about it. Not it's, sweaty, not nervous? I'm not, I'm not nervous about it because one thing that beef, butter, bacon, and eggs has taught me is to put cheese in its place. I have had sitting out in that refrigerator since we came home from Keto Palooza a bag of cheese curds. Okay. Don't worry. It's got a best by date of the end of December. Um, and hey, cheese is basically nothing more than molded over milk anyway. Yeah, right? that Come is on. true. I mean, you're basically always just eating mold when you eat cheese. But you're not coming back with provolone. No. You're not wasting your energy with just a string cheese of mozzarella. You've right. got something that's going to have a high flavor right. power pack. And that's the thing is I purposely left that bag of buffalo cheese curds sitting on the shelf so that every, every day I was opening up that refrigerator and I was seeing it, but I couldn't have it. And that helped me have a little bit of control. So I feel pretty confident that I'm going to be able to put cheese in its place and have it as a good flavor thing as part of our meal. So we're going to have, say, a ground beef dinner and put some of those cheese curds on my plate and not go back to doing drive-bys. And as we said in the 10 things that we binge on, we're going to steer away, or at least I'm going to steer away from the bland cheeses that really do nothing for me in my life, with the exception of like mozzarella cheese on a pizza or something like that. Well, I have noticed that I don't miss cheese as much as I thought I would, especially because we used a lot of bland cheeses in our everyday cooking. So we would make a hamburger. I just took for granted you want a cheeseburger. Right. Why Why have a hamburger, I mean, when you could have a cheeseburger, mm -hmm. right? So when the kids were all over recently for a barbecue, I was asking cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I felt like um, <laughs> that thing from Saturday Night Live where he's like, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Right. And um, some of the kids were like, no, no cheese for me, just hamburger. And I thought, why? Why are you it's not, not having... Like you're, unless you're using like a blue cheese, 
or a good jalapeno cheese? Are you really tasting the flavor of provolone yeah. cheese on a burger? So I thought, I'm not missing out. It's I, I think I get, go back to when we were going out to eat and the cheese just came with it. Mm -hmm. And so that was extra special. And if you didn't get the cheese, you weren't getting the full value of the meal because they would be like, cheeseburger or hamburger, same price. So you're like, oh, I need the cheese. Right. But I don't need well, the cheese. Well, think about it. A Whopper doesn't come with cheese. Right. Yeah. So I, I don't necessarily need the cheese on my hamburger just because I'm allowed to have it. Right. So I'm kind of where you're at. I would like to make cheese like a front and center thing and really, really celebrate it when I have it, but not just to have it all the time yeah. everywhere. Now we're not saying cheese is bad. We're just saying because we both have cheese. a bad history yeah. with cheese as far as overdoing it, we need to put a fence around it and use it in certain places so that we don't go back to every time we walk past the refrigerator, sticking our hand into a bag of shredded mozzarella, smooshing it up to a ball and throwing it in our mouth. Yeah. It wasn't doing anything to satisfy our hunger. It wasn't really doing anything for flavor because let's be honest, mozzarella cheese doesn't really have much of a flavor, especially no. if you're buying just like bag stuff or even the blocks. Maybe if you're you're hand making or you go to the store and you get that fresh mozzarella right. that's still like, you know, in the brine solution. Right, that's like a different basil. story, but yeah. just putting it into its place. So that is the plan. Also, uh, I'll probably Saturday, I will uh, bring back my Redmond Relight Electrolytes. I'm not as concerned about the stevia stuff. I'm more concerned about foods that we think could cause us inflammation, like cheese and heavy whipping cream and seed oils, though we're not going to do any seed oils or anything like that. I was just thinking, and probably nobody else has done this, but I was so bad at, at one point with cheese and bland cheese at that, that I would just take a big honking handful of mozzarella and put it into a bowl, put it into the microwave, nuke it, and just eat it. Right. Like like that. And and I when I would eat it, I was like, this is inappropriate. I was thinking that. Like, this is not okay. This is a weird snack to have. I'm not measuring it. I'm not like weighing it. Lord only knows how much I just put in here. Right. And and then when it's I like nuts. And then when I was done, I wasn't full. It it had just kind of peaked my Now you want to eat more. It peaked my chaos. Okay, so I just heard Anthony get up. We are gonna go and work on the front room because we have a live stream tonight and I need to be able to untarp. So I've got a bunch of work to <laughs> we do. We can't do it in a tarp? No, I've got a bunch of work to do in the front room. Um, I know you've got a bunch of things that you need to do. Yeah. I want to finish cleaning my office. Yeah, because we're just at the halfway point, <laughs> just the mess point. We're getting there. We're getting there. And uh, later on, we're going to uh, talk about a couple of other issues that I've been thinking about. So we're getting there. This whole wall is completely spackled. Although I have to change something here now. I'm not gonna do it today. The original plan was cushions, but then we started thinking that we wanna have just one big area and back here is gonna be storage. I'm gonna cut a door into the front of this and then make like a storage area. But now I've got to raise this up because we're going to put one big piece of like granite or some kind of stone here. Then the cats can sit there and it'll just look a little bit prettier. So what I'm going to end up having to do is take off this piece here and then raise this up another like three inches so that everything is one level. So of course on the day that I want to do sheetrock work, it's getting ready to rain. Like I don't understand why it's going to rain oh, in November. Oh, You can't put it in the truck. No, I can't put it in the truck. Can you put it in the car? Wet. It's a four by eight sheet and I need six sheets. Do you it need to fit. see to drive? <laughs> the drawback to doing sheetrock work. There's tracks of footprints all through the house now. Oh, look at this. And it's raining out. I can't go to the store. I can't go get sheetrock. That really stinks. So all the wood is down and we have the first coat of spackling on and it stopped raining. So I'm gonna go clean up a little bit and then Anthony and I are gonna go to the store and try to get some sheetrock and hope it doesn't rain again between going to Home Depot and getting home. Okay, can I just say, you are the most awesomest wife because not only do you deal with me creating a giant mess and sheetrock is just a messy job, 
on live stream day. But you come behind and clean up my mess without yelling at me. Oh my gosh, what a difference. The next time you guys have to make a mess that you would be willing to clean up, not this level of mess. We were willing to clean it up except for when we- And he's like, no. When, Tell the truth, shame the devil. When we were looking at cheap rock stuff, I was looking for a bigger taping knife. I have never seen this, but we found this. Drywall finishing sponge. What will that do? Dustless sanding. We needed that like. I don't know if it ago. works. I've never tried that before. Where's that shot? I love when I hear Anthony whistling. Can I try this thing? Okay, here you go. Ooh, what you got here? Um, okay, so we got leftover wings. I used a half a cup, a half a stick of butter, a few drops of the um, Frank's Red Hot, mm -hmm. and then some of the Redmond organic garlic pepper seasoning. I'm sorry, not the garlic pepper, the lemon pepper. Well, it looks amazing. So, are you eating? Ahead. I'm not gonna eat because I only have Anthony for about another 30 minutes to help me, and we still have two more sheets of sheetrock to put up. So I will eat after we're done. So it's four o'clock, and Anthony is getting ready to leave. So I've lost my helper, but we got most of it done. We got all of the sheetrock up. We got all of the dust stuff completed. I just need to finish screwing in the sheetrock. Problem is, is our house is missing studs. So. It makes it a little bit more challenging, but I just have to finish screwing everything up and then I need to tape and spackle everything. But I think I'm gonna stop for the day because I still need to edit a vlog and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat my chicken wings while I work on my vlog. Oh. You tired? I am very tired, but there was so much to clean up after. I'm sorry. Just so much. Construction in the house. Yeah. And you're dealing with me. Construction in the house. <laughs> right? Like master of the house. Keep it. You're dealing with me and listen, I can do pretty much anything when it comes to working around the house. I can tile a floor. I can remodel the kitchen, remodel a bathroom. I'm not the cleanest person in the world when I'm doing it. And so yesterday, I said, Anthony's helping me. And I said to him, like, hey, we need to sand down around the window. We, we spackled that a long time ago. I mean, before we had gotten sick, right. we had spackled that. And then we got sick. And then life happened and we started traveling. And so it's been sitting. So it's been a, a few months. And so I said, you know, we need to do this. And you have to understand that our walls we're all textured. That's why we we're just putting sheetrock right up over it. It's old fashioned plaster. But around the windowsill, the ceiling, there was no way to really do that. So we had to basically skim coat over the texture. So there was a lot of sanding. And my son, I love him, but in his infinite wisdom decided, I wanna use the electric sander because it's gonna be a lot easier. It's also going to spread a tremendous Yeah, because there's a chute on it. Yeah. And I walk back into the room about five minutes later and you just see a cloud of dust shooting out of it and it is now spread into this room, into the family room. Did you think to yourself, Rachel is going to oh, kill me? Oh, yes. I was like, she's gonna kill us. So I quickly put a tarp up over the doorway, but by then it was too late. I mean, the dust got underneath the tarps that we had over the camera, not as bad as everything else, but it was a lot of cleanup as opposed to just using a regular, like, you know, drywall sander. And it, it goes a little bit in the air, but it mostly drops to the ground. Here's the thing. I would much rather we do the work ourselves and have more cleanup right. than to have the cleanest contractor there is, but have to pay them. Yeah, and it's gonna be a lot of money. Yeah. So most of the messy work is done. So we, we took down the wall today, the last wall of wood, and we put up you know the sheetrock. So it's probably gonna really echo now, because now all the wood is gone. Did you gone. feel the decades coming off? 
I, I mean, it's a lot lighter of a room now because you had that dark wood up. So that will still have to be taped, taped spackled, and uh, sanded. But maybe that sponge that says it's supposed to do a dust-free sanding Please. will really... Like, at least cut down on the dust. I don't know. We'll have to try it. Because I do have one more sanding on that back wall. Uh, just, like, we're a couple areas we had to go back and touch I it up. I can hear Caleb studying. Yeah. He has his headphones on and he's singing. Yeah. He said he's I don't know how he does that. Anthony always whistles. Yes. No matter what he's doing. And Caleb always sings. When I used to study in school, I had to have complete silence. My sister could watch a baseball game. And study at the same time and get an A. I had to have classical music playing. Not me. I, I needed anything. Instrumental. Distra everything distracts me. Oh, and I got my office clean and it looks so good. It really I'm does. I'm so excited. I'm proud I cleaned of you. out all the drawers. I cleaned everything up. I moved my Mac tower from underneath the desk to up on top. It takes up more desk room. I mean, it's behind the monitors. But I'm hoping if it's higher up, it'll get better cooling and also it won't get all the dust, which kind of settles down Did on the floor. Did you clean your room as a distraction from the mess in the front room? Like, ooh, no. I'll make her happy over I just, here. I got tired of not being able to find anything because, again, I am really good at coming up with ideas and creating and doing things. But I'm one of the most disorganized people, Aww. which is why I'm in the process of working on 10 months of receipts right now. But in the last three days of having QuickBooks online, I'm enjoying the fact that like we went to the store and had to get materials to do the studio and it was like scan. And by the time I get home, it's already imported the receipt, not only from what I took a picture of, but it's matched it up with the charge that on my is American Express card. Totally worth it. So I'm, I'm, it's, it costs a fortune to have that compared to just buying the program like I used to. But that online thing hopefully will help me to be more organized. Look what came! I'm so excited about these. These are your actual size shoes. Yeah. So we, I had bought these like Star Wars Crocs because I had a 40% off coupon. And they sent me a woman's 11 instead of a man's 11. Mm, they're like, this isn't for my wife for so, once. But these are really cool because they have like the Mandalorian on them and they have Yoda on them. And they have they have all these little things which are normally extra money. They're normally right. like $5 the a piece. little attachments. And it was included with that. There's Grogu drinking some coffee. So I'm excited about these. I don't know. It's so funny because we always made fun of Crocs. Anthony and Sarah love Crocs. They, they love wear them everywhere. They have matching ones. And we made fun of them so bad until we put a pair on our feet. They're still ugly. They I are. mean they're not they're they're not making you look super cute. But, but they're comfy. comfortable. Well these aren't ugly. I mean no. they're Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars makes everything better. How do you feel after having wings again today? I feel good. I'm just always so surprised that I'm full. Yeah. I'm just shocked. Because how many wings do we have? Like 14? 14. 14 wings. Who is this woman? Who is this woman consuming my food? <laughs> because usually I would have come back and been like, that was nice. Now let me add this and this to it. Right. So, I mean, I'm sure I usually, after the live stream, I think it's because of the excitement. We still got keto chow ice cream. Coming. I'm usually excited to like eat something. Right. So, that's a super duper treat. Yeah, we've got pistachio keto chow ice cream that we're going to have. I really want to do a mix in with the Ninja Creamy and add in like high key cookies or something but that will confuse but we the can't results because that would confuse the results so it's just keto chow made with four tablespoons of butter but i'm excited because we haven't had keto chow in 44 days that ain't no just keto chow and butter and an ice cream form in the creamy that isn't like a second class no thing that's top shelf oh so i got on the scale and i'm down to 194 pounds which is almost two pounds since we weighed in on tuesday i'm 155 which is two pounds since we weighed in on wednesday and i started thinking that like what's the difference we haven't changed anything let's say we had a day of chicken wings but we haven't changed anything yesterday we ate a lot of food or tuesday is when we weighed in tuesday that's what i said tuesday oh, we weighed I think in I on said tuesday wednesday. so what has changed and the only thing that i can think that has changed is number one we've been because i haven't had to go cut since we're like in winter cuts 
we've been sleeping a little bit later. We haven't been getting up until like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. Which My is cycle is over. really, really late for us. Normally we're up by like 6 a.m. So I think we're sleeping for a couple of extra hours. But also, this is going to sound silly. I think it's the stress. We were putting so much stress on us with the beef, butter, that's... bacon, and egg challenge. Not, not stress for the challenge itself. Yeah. But the, the stress win. of... When we weigh in, what if we don't have good results? What if we have led all of our subscribers astray? What if we've recommended people do this and they're all doing it and then we gain weight? And that was very, it was, it was really weighing heavily on me. I don't think you're wrong about that. I think that the stress of that day, anxiety, I think it will prevent you from losing weight. Well, we know that stress affects your hormones. It increases cortisol. But it was really stressful. And the last thing that we want to do is lead anybody down a path that is going to prevent success for them. Right. And so it was really bothering. And now all of a sudden now that is gone. Like, okay, we had results. We feel good. We've seen our blood work, which we will be sharing. Yeah. But again, we want to talk to Dr. Barry and Dave Feldman about the blood work before we share it so that we can understand it. And now that we've got those positive results, it's like a weight has been lifted off me. Literally. And I think now the scale is literally going. Okay, whoosh. yeah. Yeah. I think that my whole body is like, oh, okay, relax. All right, enjoy these couple of pounds. Now that they don't count. Yeah. Right? Because they're not like the, the weigh in was that day. Yeah. That was the deadline. But life continues. Mm -hmm. And if you'll just keep living, there's more good things to be had. It yeah. wasn't a deadline of, okay, no more health momentum after Tuesday. We're doing great. Yeah. Before we go, I know that you need to get in the shower to get ready for our live stream tonight. Uh, two things. Number one, we're going to be doing our Patreon live stream on Sunday at, uh, I guess, 5 o'clock in the evening. I'll be there. Eastern time. So if you're a Patreon member or um, our upper channel members, we will be putting a link in Patreon in, in, in the channel member account so that you can join us for our Patreon only live stream or sub supporter only live stream. But also the Walmart Black Friday ad came out. Yes. Lots of garbage in there, at least in my opinion. Yeah. But one thing I came across, if you're looking for a small barbecue, mm -hmm. okay, the Kamado Joe that we use, not the, the big one that I do like the pork belly, but the but small the one ones. that I have, it's really good for two people unless you want to smoke a big piece of meat. But if you just want like burgers or smoke some smaller things, it's the Kamado Joe Jr. It is half price for Black Friday at Walmart. That's a good deal. So I'm going to put a link for it down below because the normal price is $500 and I'm upset that I got mine like two months ago oh, right. now. You enjoy um, that full price. Because it's $249. And it's perfect to complement your smoker if you already have a smoker like a Rectech or a Pit Boss or a Traeger, but you miss having some things charcoal and you want to be able to like maybe sear a steak or cook some burgers or do some chicken and just have that small little thing. It is amazing. And it's half price. And yes, it's still expensive at $250, but you gotta remember it's a ceramic cooker and there's no better way to cook than in a ceramic cooker because it'll retain heat. You can put a fire in there and it will burn without having to add more charcoal for like 20 hours. But also it'll, you, once you shut it off, like turn off all the top and the bottom, it'll save any charcoal that you're not using anymore. So you're gonna come back to more. And it just works really well. It also has a lifetime warranty on all the ceramics. So why don't you go get in the shower? I I'm going to go get all the computers ready for the live stream. So hopefully we have no technical issues. Yeah. Look at your office. I am like so it? proud of you. Every I went through all the drawers. I wiped down the whole dust. So the dust lit us. It's already, I literally wiped it down like two hours ago. I think we're mostly just made of dust and debris. It's getting better. I have one little corner over there that I have camera gear in. I got to clean out the cabinet down there so I can start kind of putting that stuff away. And then you got did a good job like taking stuff that we had hidden in closets that we forget about and started putting on the shelves. Of course, now it looks like a store. Right. But at least now I can look up and be like, oh, there's my perfect keto. Oh, 
Like, there's my element. Oh, there's my Redmond, and I can look and see exactly how much I have left. Well, we are really bad about having stuff and not using the stuff, and then you find it when it's expired. So, when I was cleaning out the cabinet last night, we don't eat it anymore because we found a problem with it. I, at one point, had hidden, because you would eat, like, an entire box in a day of Bilt Bars. I knew what you were talking about, because, like, yes, I, I could not. I found four boxes of Bilt Bars that myself. were hidden behind like all of our copy paper they're two years old oh my god but i had hidden them back there because you're like i need you to hide these because i'm gonna eat like five in a day and i hid them so well i forgot they were there so obviously i threw them out they were like no good anymore but yeah that's what happens is, is we buy stuff and then it gets put in this cabinet or in that closet because we don't have a lot of storage room and then things go in front of it and then you forget you have it so now I can look up on my shelf and know everything that we have. You know what I have not forgotten about? What? We're supposed to be having Keto Chow ice cream tonight. Okay, I'll make it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make the first one. This is pistachio with a nice little mountain in there, but it shouldn't affect it. So we got the blade in here. We're going to go ahead and turn this thing on. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And we're going to get it going. Okay, so we'll put it on here. Turn it up. Power, light ice cream. Okay, so the first one is done. We're gonna go ahead and probably do a respin. I'm not even gonna open it up. I know it's gonna need a respin. So we're gonna press respin. Okay, that's the first respin. Let's go ahead and check it. Um, trying to do this with one hand while holding the camera, a little difficult. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's see. Nope. Kind of powdery. We're going to go again. That's two respins. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and make the next one. I had so much fun in the live stream tonight. The live stream was awesome. Ooh, speaking of awesome. Here you go. One Ooh. for you and two for me. Two for you. I'm a guy. I eat more food than you do. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're back at, we got to dink this one. It's been a while. What is it? 48 days without a keto chow? Serious. It was so hard going to Vegas and going to Keto Palooza, and I couldn't have any. You couldn't even sample. No, I, I really wanted it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this, and it's ice cream. Mmm. Wow. Wow. This ninja creamy, it's like magic. It is so magical because like this is with butter, and when you make it in the regular ice cream maker with butter. It, it can give you like a waxy feeling, but with in the creamy, it doesn't. It just doesn't. It's super creamy. It's exactly it's, that. It is like ice cream. And there is nothing extra added to this at all. Nope. It is four tablespoons of butter per shake and water and pistachio keto chow. Wow. Okay. Mm. So I made two of them. I made two complete keto chows because this is a meal. Right. So I made two complete keto chows in the Vitamix, but it filled up three containers. Wow. So that's only really about three quarters. Of a serving. Of a serving. So you get a nice, I like the fact that we have a bowl. Like you don't have to dirty another bowl or no. anything like that. And I don't have to worry about this being an inappropriate amount of ice cream to no. eat. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat this and I'm going to take this one and we'll just, I'm going to stick it in the freezer so it doesn't melt. And then once we have enough room in here, we'll divvy it up between the two of us. Wow. This one's got a little bit less. You can see the hole there. I'm actually really glad we started with pistachio. So. I like pistachio. I did. It was good after two respins, but I did do a third respin. And I think the third respin just makes it like Super. really creamy, like halfway between a soft serve and, and a hard ice cream. It is perfect. Mm. It is absolutely perfect. Wow. And what's good is, you know, hey, we like some of the other ice creams out there, like, you know, Enlightened and Rebel. But here, 
you're not dealing with any of the extra soluble corn fiber. None it's, of that. It's keto chow, which we know is good, and we know that we don't have any issues with our body, I hope, after 45 days of not having it. I am I never going to overdo it. No. I'm just not. With keto chow ice cream, it's perfect. And it's butter. So I, I'm super impressed with it. I, but I didn't add any allulose. I didn't, we didn't do any mix-ins because, again, experimenting. I'm okay with it. If you're interested in keto chow, there is a link down below. Anytime you want to get keto chow, just come back to any one of our videos. Here comes Charity. And when you go out on the bottom of every one of our videos, there is a link for keto chow. And you get 10% off every single purchase. It's not like a one-time use only kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I, next time I want to do some mixins. I want to mix in like some high-key cookies or some granola. I was even thinking we have some cupcakes from Just Made Keto. Oh my gosh. You mean like cut it up into some pieces and throw that in as a mix-in and mix in one of her cupcakes? I have a mix-in idea. Okay. I don't know. It could go completely wrong, but it's an idea. Ch chocolate mint keto chow ice cream. Okay. With some of the ice chips, like the peppermint ice chips as a mix-in. Wow. That would be like, it would almost be like an Andy's candy. Worth right? a try. It'd be, it would be really interesting. Worth a try. I don't know. We'll have to try that. You know, just do a few because yeah. that is, I mean, it's xylitol, which works really good in ice cream. I don't know if they would melt. The only thing we do is try it. It. I mean, even if it was like a little bit of a crunch through it, I'd be okay with it. I'd actually, you know. I would want the crunch. I would want like, it. I'd be disappointed if it melted. Yeah. Almost like a candy cane in there. Well, here's to... Hopefully keto chow not causing any issues because I'm not giving up keto chow. I know. I'll just deal with issues. Deal with the inflammation. Well, um, tomorrow, probably going to be mostly beef butter, bacon, and eggs. Yeah. I have a pound of ground beef or a pound and a half of ground beef defrosted. I have a football game. It's my last high school football game of the year. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably do some bacon, maybe some eggs. I have a couple of houses to cut. Let me spackle the front room and get one step closer to getting it painted. No more dust. <laughs> no, no dust tomorrow. I, it would just be spackling it. Dust another day. <laughs> Maybe after our live stream with all of our Patreons and channel members. The best part was when Tab like rubbed up against the, the part wall that I had just spackled. And then rubbed up against all of the leather furniture. I know. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Okay, well, that is day three of the road back. Uh, so far, we're enjoying it. Next up is going to be testing cheese. We're gonna do we're gonna do some cheese on a day, not a ridiculous amount of cheese, and an appropriate. appropriate amount of cheese. Probably a part of our dinner or something like that. We're gonna have some cheese and see how we feel the next day. And again, I know it may seem a little boring, but. This is, it's like science for it us. Is. We really want to experiment and see what is going to make us feel optimal because I like the way I feel right now and I don't want to start introducing on a regular basis mm -hmm. things that are going to make me not feel optimal. If something causes inflammation, does it mean we're never going to have it? No. no. It just like is going to allow us to know that is what causes it. So like if we find out that, for example... Buffalo Wild Wing seasonings there you go. cause us to have inflammation then or not feel perfect. Right. Then what we're going to do is, okay, for now on, we will just season them at home ourselves because that worked. And then maybe if we're on the road or if we're like on a trip or just feel like going out to eat as a couple instead of eating them at home once in a while, then we'll do that. But at least we will know what we'll to know. expect and what would be causing any kind of uncomfortable issues that we may be having. Yeah. Let us know down in the comment section, have you figured out any food issues or food products that caused you inflammation? And even though you know it causes issues, you indulge in them every once in a while. Let yeah. us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have ice cream for dinner, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.